Welcome to the VES Artex Academy. Let's go learn about fans. Today we are going to upgrade a 72 inch exhaust fan by replacing the motor, pulley, and fan blades. For this operation, you will need a 10 millimeter or 3 eighths of an inch socket and wrench, a 13 millimeter or half inch socket and wrench, a 17 millimeter or 11 sixteenths of an inch socket and wrench, a torque wrench, a drill, a cross tip screwdriver, a tape measure, a 5 millimeter hex key, an 8 millimeter hex bit, two 3 millimeter thick washers, a piece of wood cut to 225 to 230 millimeters, and a 10 millimeter spacer, such as a nut. To start, let's remove the guard from the fan. Loosen all nine sets of guard clips with your 10 millimeter wrench and cross tip screwdriver. Do not fully remove the clips, just loosen them enough so that you can remove the guard. Next, let's remove the fan blades from the unit. Take note of where the bushing is positioned on the shaft. Here, our measurement reads 45 millimeter, or one and three quarters of an inch. With your hex bit and drill, loosen the set screws to remove them from the bushing. Insert one into the middle screw hole to release the bushing from its position. Remove the fan blades from the shaft. Now let's remove the old belts from the unit. You must remove the top bracket from the unit. Use your 13 millimeter wrench to remove the bolts. Once you have removed the top bracket, it is time to remove the motor base and motor. Use your 17 millimeter socket and wrench to remove the bolts from the motor base. Remove the motor base from the mid post. We need to remove the motor pulley wheel from the old motor and put it on the new motor. Use the old belts to hold the pulley in its place while you use your 5mm hex key to remove the set screws from the pulley wheel. Put one set screw in the middle screw hole and tighten it so that you can remove the bushing. Place the pulley wheel on the new motor 7 millimeters, or about a quarter of an inch from the end of the shaft and fully tighten the bushing onto the shaft. Tighten each set screw to 20 newton meters. Next, we need to remove the motor base from the old motor and attach it to the new motor. Use your 17 millimeter wrench to remove the bolts from the motor base. You will need to push and hold the head of the bolts while you remove the nuts. Now it is time to attach the new motor to the motor base. Place a 3mm thick washer on each bottom hole between the motor base and motor foot. Use the same bolts, nuts, and washers from the old motor to attach it to the motor base. Tighten each bolt fully to a torque of 45 newton meters. Now that the new motor is securely attached to the base, install it in the mid post. Reinstall the bolts, nuts, and washers on the motor base and use a piece of wood cut to 225 to 230 millimeters to determine the proper position of the motor base. Tighten each bolt with your 17 millimeter socket and wrench to a torque of 55 newton meters.
reinstall the top bracket. Place one 10mm spacer between the mid post and the top bracket and use an M8 by 30mm hex bolt to attach the bracket to the mid post. Use a 13mm socket and wrench to fasten the bolts into place. Use a tightening torque of 16 Newton meters. Install the new belt, model XPZ2650, onto the pulley wheels. Install the new fan blades onto the shaft. Here we are installing a new nylon impeller onto the fan. Place the new fan bushing 45 millimeters or one and three quarters of an inch from the end of the shaft and tighten the set screws with your eight millimeter or 5 sixteenths of an inch hex bit to 85 to 90 newton meters. Connect a power cable to the motor and reinstall the shutters and front guard. And just like that, you have given this 72 inch exhaust fan a total upgrade. Here we go.